My name is Quan from Darklight, and we create some of the world's smallest and brightest precision spotlights. So uh, what I want to show you today is called the Precision DMX. You see a fully contained spotlight right here that's RGB, seven channels, DMX compatible. And you can see all around the truss right here, I have some of these lights uh, being demoed. Uh, full color range. This has all the intelligence built into the fixture, so you're not talking to a centralized box uh, to feed your DMX channel, to feed your DMX signal. You're feeding it directly to each individual light. So you can treat this as a miniaturized version of any standard DJ light that you're already using. The only difference is we use 12 volts instead of 120, which means you can actually operate this uh, off of a battery, a car battery or something, and makes it very portable. And we also use uh, very small connectors, which you might be used to from uh, for audio, eighth-inch plugs. This makes things very plug-and-play-ish, uh, very compact, because it doesn't make too much sense for us to use a very thick, big uh, XLR cable. So oftentimes our customers end up splicing a single XLR cable into eighth-inch, and the rest of the system you can jump from one light to the next using. Uh, standard audio cable. So it makes it very compatible. The other features that we have are a variety of single color LED spotlights. Okay, so they're um, they're very tiny, great for compact or space constrained applications, and they're very rugged. You can use them indoors or outdoors. So some of the other cool things that he was telling me is you can actually, uh, right here, they have different kinds of uh, Gels. gels that can go onto these lights. It's really an awesome, awesome feature. And then lots of precision stuff right here. You can get a good look at that. And of course, you want to pay attention to the website. So you want to head there to the website, get all the details, pricing. Pricing then, is very affordable too. Um, yeah, it's all of our lights, really awesome. And none of them actually cross $100, so uh, you can use it for a variety of different shows and applications. And they can stay on static or in rotation, you can do programming, um, real small switch that he's reaching to right there. You can see that right in the lower section of the screen. Cool, cool stuff. And if you notice way over here, underwater. Really cool stuff. Make sure you go there, darklightsystem.com. Make sure you check it out. Thank you. So as you can see, easily program all kinds of different patterns. And at this price point, pretty awesome. Just think of all the different ways you can use these things. Really, here's my hand and a unit. Nice and small. Okay, so we're moving on to the really cool part of uh, these awesome lights that were here, all kinds of uh, styles, abilities, DMXable, but uh, we're working really on the brains part. So, take it away. Alright, so uh, normally uh, we have two types of lights, the DMX light, which is the intelligence is fully contained, I showed you earlier, and the other lights we have are simply just uh, dummy lights. They plug directly into power, you know, either like a 9 volt battery or a 12 volt uh, power supply will drive these lights just fine. But they simply stay on. But now if you want to control these lights, we have little controller boxes like this that can go in line between your power and the light and it will modulate the amount of um, amount of power that goes into the light so you can change the various modes. So for example, this flicker module, just by clicking the different uh, it's a single button I can change between different modes such as blinking, strobing. There's about 18 different modes built into here. If I hold it down, I can actually dim out 
the light to whatever level that I desire. So this is a very simple little controller. The next step up from this is a uh, the Darkbox DMX Micro, which is essentially the same thing as the Flicker, except it accepts the DMX input. So now you can control exactly when you want the light to flicker, when you want it to blink, etc. The next thing we have is the Darkbox Programmer. This programmer is able to set the address for our compact devices, such as the Darklight DMX Micro or the uh, Precision DMX light. Those devices are so small you'll notice there's no dip switch on it. So you need an external programmer that sends a special manufacturer's code that writes the address into the device. And once you write the address, it remembers it for the life of the device unless you rewrite the address or something else. Um, the next thing we have here is the dark box DMX, which is essentially six channels of these stacked up together into one single unit. So, lots of control, lots of capability. Definitely need to check it out. Dark light. You got it. Thank we'll see you. you later.